Uncle Sam has got a chilling tribe. The Colorado Red Flag Law, HB 1177, is certain to be signed by Governor Polis if it passes the Colorado House on Monday. It recently passed the Senate by one vote, 1817, typical of the communist port filled laws in this poorly written law. And some of the Colorado sheriffs are unhappy about it. Their counties have declared themselves Second Amendment sanctuaries. Can you imagine what our founding fathers would think if they ever knew this would ever be a thing in the United States of America? I thought the Second Amendment covered this. Was it written simply for any dumb Joe to understand? Well, I guess not. Well County, for example, has declared itself a Second Amendment sanctuary and commissioners have stated they will not allocate funds to enforce the red flag law. Sheriff Steve Reams testified against the bill and made the statement that he will not enforce it. Well County is one of many Colorado counties to have declared itself a Second Amendment sanctuary county. With county commissioners here anonymously approving a resolution stating they will not allocate funding to enforce the bill should it become the law. The resolution also expresses commissioner's support for Reams, who has likewise vowed not to enforce the bill should it become law. Part of that enforcement includes housing confiscated firearms. Something Reams has said that he doesn't have the space to do. More than half of Colorado's counties oppose HB 1177, and Reeves has testified against the bill and the legislation. What's the problem with this bill? One, as we have previously stated, is that anyone can tell police that a person is a danger to himself or others and do it for vindictive purposes. There is no due process that protects people against such complaints. The second problem is that the specific Colorado law places the burden of the gun owner to prove they are no longer a danger. Right? So proving guilty before innocence, that doesn't, that's not how it works. That's not the way our system works, but that's the way the law is written. Not to mention the whole confiscation of firearms part that is unconstitutional. The Colorado Red Flag Law will likely be challenged in court. In the meantime, sheriffs who oppose the law and refuse to enforce it could be held in contempt of court. Now, I always hear how the police will come and confiscate guns, but you never hear about the police who refuse to do so who will stand by their oath, the true oath keepers of our time. My question to such travesty is why wait till the local police, individuals in our own communities have to make that decision to follow or not follow unjust laws? Why aren't those who speak against the police and confiscation not form in our own streets? Protesting, that's what I want to do. That's what me and many patriots like myself want to do. We need to remove the cancer that is infesting our courts once and for all and this madness, or this madness will continue. Why wait till they are knocking on our doors? There will always be people in uniform enforcing unconstitutional, draconic laws. And there will always be people like us to put them where they belong. Don't wait till they fire, they are fired and remove the sheriffs. Take over the streets and show force. Power in numbers. Show them we will not follow any gun control laws, specifically red flag laws. These suits will only understand this when we show them what 300 million gun owners look like. We also want to contact these sheriffs and let them know what our motives will be right up front. So they will step aside and let the people's voice be the reason. The majority of our police force will not enforce these laws. We need to show them support and unite with them. They have taken the first step to a revolution. Communist News Network asked one of these sheriffs if he was willing to be confined in his own jail over the issue. He responded, well, obviously no sheriff wants to be confined in their own jail. But if that's what it takes to get the bill ironed out, then I guess that's a sacrifice I'll be forced to make. The worst way to bring attention to it is for me to be put in that position. But I will do that before I'll violate someone's or somebody's constitutional rights. Sheriff Steve Reams, my fellow patriots, we are uniting under one banner. I need everyone to sign up to our newsletter, UncleSamisGuidedChildren.com, and wait for our call. I also need you to do like and follow us again on Facebook. We were taking down, funny coincident, right after I started making these videos. All right, so I need you to go and follow the page again. Place our address link to your Facebook address, Facebook.com forward slash Uncle Sam's Children. Once you like the page, select all notifications, see first. Last, you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video from there to all your friends and family.